think you should Yeah, well, welcome to uh, the Kiwi Collector's Dune episode, and we're about to hit play now. You've never seen this movie? No, no, I've never seen this film. Uh, wow, you weren't lying. It's so, look at that Universal logo. I know, right? An MCA company. Yeah. What does it even mean? Not anymore, because they went bust. Did they get bought up by some like Japanese firm? Oh, who fucking knows? The, the thing is it's all money and the people that are at the bottom have lost their jobs and the people at the top would have just been like oh here's a hundred million dollars that happened oh, at Square uh, Enix oh fucking A like Square Enix they were like let's fire all our game developers yeah. it's like oh okay yo David Lynch as in like yeah. fucking Twin Peaks David Lynch yeah yo this is tripping me the fuck out now the like you said yeah. The problem with this adaptation and any adaptation that's related to. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So put subtitles on because then, like, we can not hear. Plot. There are no subtitles. Oh, that's fucking awkward. Um, you have to explain an entire universe in the space of. Should they have done the Star Wars crawl? I suppose you can't. It's copyright on there. Yeah. So it's cocaine. Well, oh, LSD. No. So basically what she's explaining is that there's an entire network of houses yeah. that are divided up like families would be into a galactic empire where there's an emperor and she's a, she's a princess, emperor's daughter. Yeah. And there's one planet in the entire universe that allows intergalactic space travel, which is June. Right. Too forgot And it also tastes like cinnamon. No shit. Yeah. Is it like a real thing? Cinnamon? Yes, cinnamon. Is no, real. I mean <laughs> a drug tasting like cinnamon. Uh, I'm sure. A messiah. So is there a chosen one prophecy? Yeah. No one can escape the chosen one prophecy. Yeah. Not not a single franchise. <laughs> They were trying so hard to not sound like John Williams just then. Yeah. <laughs> you can't sound like John Williams, all right? Shh. What year is this? Uh, hold on. Good luck on that collector's box set, dude. Yeah. Eighty-four. Yeah. So this is two years before I was born. Which means most of the effects are practical, and the ones that are CGI are horrific. I'm just <laughs> warning you now. 80 CGI is not great. I love the poor person that was like, hey, can you just go into the desert and get a whole bunch of stock footage of desert? That'd be great. <laughs> like, but it's hot out there. Yeah, you just stock footage. And they would have been using film. To put in this kind of fucking no, they're horrible. What? What have you found? There's a million versions of this movie. I know. It's like Blade Runner all over again. So this is not the original theatrical cut. No, this uh, is I, it the extended cut. I think it's the extended cut. Okay. This is like a hundred and seventy something minutes. Oh yeah, so. And then outside of the Empire, there's an entire guild that runs all the transport. No shit. House Arconan. Mm. Yeah, see the um I like this landing model. Oh, all the practical effects in this are amazing. Oh, there's a little bit of tearing. It's alright. It also reminds me a lot of um uh Red Dwarf though. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, so many people have tried to take all this in the projects and get off the ground. And a whole bunch of bulldogs. That was like the 16th century. Father, no time to talk. Get the fuck out of here. So this is the emperor, and this guild turns up, and he's like, "Stop what I'm doing!" Like everybody else is to bail. Like that's power, man. Counters, the psychics. Yeah. Ben and Jesuit, which is another separate, um, another separate. Uh, what do you call it? Guild. Wow. That's a prop. Yeah. Still no um, subtitle track there, brother. Holy shit, that dress was real good. Oh my, look at that. Even the sets are amazing, like... This is why no one's remade this, like, tried to remake this movie, because it's fucking impossible. Oh, for fuck's sake. That'd have been my phone. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? That is a uh, third grade navigator. Okay. Grade three navigator. Uh, yeah, I know, right? The previous house is the main secret armory, using a technique unknown to us, a technique involving... That guy's blinking so much. The Duke is becoming more popular in the Lanzar. He could threaten... Michael Caine's acting class talks about that. Heaps of actors do that. ...to mine the spice, thus replacing their enemies, the Hot Comrades. Our Atreides will not refuse because of the tremendous power they think they will gain. Then, at an appointed time, Baron Hot Comrade will return to Arrakis launch a sneak attack on House Atreides. I have promised the Baron five legions of my son of our terror. Alright. That was so much exhibition. Oh, no. Like, that, that needs to be, this needs to be a TV show. Yeah. Well, they tried doing that. And yeah. It turned out garbage because the budget was the issue. Wow. Yeah, I know. This this is the issue. Like, when you have a book as complicated and then you try and explain all the history of every... I love the little dude's vacuuming. At least they're, they're 
they are being polite. Yeah, but they don't do a very good job. <laughs> oh yeah, there's still gunk everywhere. <laughs> um, you you can't you can't explain it without like just endless amounts of explaining. Yeah. Wow, that did an internal monologue just then. Oh, bro, there's so much internal monologue <laughs> in this movie. It's amazing. There's like stuff you're not allowed to do in movies. Yeah. You're no. just not allowed to do it. Yeah. And is that typical sci fi shit where you just. You're on a new planet, so they announce what planet it yeah. is. It's like. The only show that did that well was Fringe. Yeah, where the, the lettering was part of the environment. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. They also they tower in Lavender Town in Pokemon Season 1. Yeah. More exposition. Oh my actual god. Is that who I think it is? That's amazing. Look at how young he is here. I know, right? He's going to go investigate their murder. <sighs> that early CGI though. I know. Because it's been formatted for widescreen, so yeah. it's all stretched. <laughs> like tremors. Yeah. Like yeah, there's there's so much expository dialogue. He's so young. This is so weird. <laughs> yeah, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Patrick Stewart looks the same age. What the inner monologue? The inner monologue's intense. Could you imagine if they kept an internal monologue when they adapted Game of Thrones? Uh, that show wouldn't last an episode, bro. Is he on the same set as that guy? Oh, I see. What am I witnessing right now? <laughs> Some of the worst CGI I've ever seen, ever. Because they could have done it with, like, a nice shimmer. Yeah, they could have just used the effect that make the Jedi ghosts yeah. in Return of the Jedi. But no, they do giant square blocks that looks like, uh... I can't even think of a movie that does it this badly. Original Tron? To be fair, the Close. original the original Tron was like the first yeah, yeah. CGI film, so. Come on. I understand now why that looks like they're not on the same set is because they wouldn't have been. Yeah. Has he been trained to be like the next king or something? Yeah, because he's the um, Duke's son. The um, personal shields are quite interesting within the storyline because every person that can afford them has them. Yeah. Because it basically stops assassinations and because they're, uh, they're more passive than like activating them and having a fight. Because yeah. like, if you're going to get assassinated, you... You won't have time to do it. Yeah. So in the books, does it just turn on? Um, there's sort of... There's sort of a passive thing. 
but the whole like um slow moving targets can move through them where fast ones can't yeah yeah i see so it protects from bullets but blades will kill yeah. the shit out of you yeah It's weird seeing him this young. I know. But he looks the same. Many dangers exist on Arrakis. For one, the Harkonnen would not have given up. What's those lips? So he takes a liqueur that makes his brain work, that changes his brain chemistry. And therefore they're like a, they're another order that's given out to. It's like, think of the, um, what's the, oh, my brain is drawing a blank. The maesters in... Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Same with the Bene Gesserits. So they might fix the subs. Yeah. I don't know where they got the idea from these because they're not on the book. At and least the scene can do no. Uh, this movie can do non-talking scenes. Yeah. The other thing is, is that um, in Dune two thousand, the rival at the time to uh, Command and Conquer, mm. um, each different house had different um, special troops. Ergo, how they do if. Um, real time strategies now yeah but um yeah these were like sound tanks and then the emperor had the sadoka which they don't explain in this but are really really awesome All right so this gizmo he's got is not in the book no yeah it's in every other format of the um <laughs> media Oh, it's actually hurting my eyes looking at that thing. Why? Oh, because it's so janky. Nah, it's uh, when I look at sharp objects, my eyes hurt. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's, it's Pavlovian, I'm guessing. I love how there's no flow to the cuts. Yeah. It's fantastic. Was Frank Herbert still alive when this film came out? Unsure. Oh, look, now we meet Duncan, one of the most important characters in the series. Is that Bruce Boxleiter? I am unsure. They do look very similar in the yeah. way I look at that picture. <laughs> Does I can get betrayed? Oh, because that would be like lols. Is there rain in that shot, or is it just grainy? I think it's supposed to be like mist coming off the sea. Oh, right. Quite a person experiences. Yeah, it seems to be there and they're not there. Mm. So that would explain the like waves hitting, but... Yes. 
sleep unless I wake up. Oh yeah, it is at Seafoam. Yeah. And then another random bump jump cut. Yeah. It's like, and I like those lights that just fly around though, but wouldn't it have been better just to have lights in, in the room that you could turn on? Yeah. Or if it was like a rumber as well, just like randomly went around the room. Yeah. Do you measure in 1984 when you go and see this shit? It'll blow your mind. Yo, is that that chick from Blade Runner? Again, I'm sure. I can't remember the cast of every movie, unfortunately. My brain would probably pop. I think every man gets tested by the box, eh? Oh my god. I love how it's futuristic yet they live in a stone castle with wooden doors. <laughs> it's the best way. So they're trying to breed the chosen one. Right. Um, but in their time of choosing. So what they do is they basically have um, their agents, I'd say, um, who have taken like Jedi into their thing for training. Um, try and keep the bloodlines so they can eventually form the Kwisak's Haderach, which is the hand of God, basically. Seem like a logical prop. The thing that I really enjoyed about this movie is um, everything has like a quality to it where you get a lot of the movies that came out of this era that were just like whatever they could use yeah where this looks genuinely like everything was made for the movie every prop was made individually I uh, think we can tell we're in a completely different environment at the beginning as well mm. Look. 
So is that the force? Uh, yeah, it's like a Jedi mind tricky sort of thing. They do it Christian Bale uh, post production, and um, people do what they say. All right. La di da di da. Yeah, it was her. Yeah. It was hard to find because her name is Sean. With an H or a... a S-E-A-N. Oh, okay, yeah. Good practical fit though. Mm. Oh, can we watch the original thing remake with Kurt Russell? Yes, I love that movie. Wait, so are they clones? No, they're sort of like chosen people from a uh, potential. I don't know, they probably do a blood test and see how many chlorines they've got. <laughs> Can you crack that window off? Sure, I think that one was going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna just climb out of there. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just gonna watch the movie from outside. Where's the cooler? That reaction? Oh shit! So that entire test. Oh, she is Sorry. unbelievably beautiful. Especially with that hair, eh? I love how CG. Um, Yo, is she Morticia Adams? Why am I so up to? Why? Why now? So that entire test is like the concept of like a, a man would stay stuck in a trap yeah. to kill his captor versus an animal would try and like pull away and gnaw its own leg off. Right. So that's why there's that weird instant death barb at his neck. It will put the lotion on the skin. 
His eyebrows will, at least. I think this. I think that is Billy the Kid. Oh no, he's the creepy guy from All the Rings. Yeah, he is the creepy guy from All the Rings. And he also voiced Chucky. Oh, he was Chucky mm. in the first one, at least. The CSO is strong with this one. So he's another one of these, like, potion drinker dudes. Yeah. Thanks, passing plane. Awesome plane. That's great. What the fuck? Bro, none of this shit's explained, eh? To my memory, the only thing that's in the book is a suit. He looks like nice Peter when he's this young. Hmm. Sting, eh? You better give me a giant cock in this movie. Or I'm not being in it. I love how they give him this giant cock. What I do like about this film, though, is the performances are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Just the thing that lets it down is the the, expl- the massiveness of the universe. Yeah. Like, what, what the fuck is that for? He just pushed a bug and drank the juice. And then, like, why? Like, there's no explanation of anything. So have they got the cure to everything in this place? Or are they working on the cures? No. I think it's just... Who, who knows why they put weird gross... I think it was just like that whole, like, if he looks gross, people won't, won't like him. Mm. You know who was another, like, singer that was also really good at acting? From, like, the golden age of, like, pop? David Bowie. Oh, yeah. Hey, really good. You see that war movie he was in? No. But Bro, I... you've got to see it, man. I can't remember what the fuck it was called, but it's good. The flying suit is in the book, because he's so fat. So instead of losing weight, he spent heaps of money to make a suit that makes him fly. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, yuck! What the fuck? Oh! Is it coming out of him or is it there from those pipes? This is from the pipes. Is this the trailer they were just talking about? No.
What in the fuck am I witnessing right now? Just a pointless murder. He's literally just walking over to some dude replacing the flowers and murdering him for no point other than just the experience of murdering people. Because everybody on the Harkonnen planet, well Harkonnen homeworld, has what's called a heart plug. Which is literally a plug stopping your heart from just bleeding out. Wow. And he just walked over and was like, and held the dude while he died. And the box... That makes fornication really, like, scary. Yeah. Um, they're in the box, he's also a pedophile. Uh, and, oh! Yeah, and in... Well, you can't get away with that in the 1984 movie. No. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Why is he holding a pug? Because it's the, the dog of their house. A pug? Yeah. A dog that actually literally struggles to breathe? Yeah. It's amazing. Um... Yeah, we have a, a plot explaining sex scene. That guy looks extremely familiar. I want this poor new And the way you get to be Baron of Harkonnen is by killing the previous Baron. So there's like this ongoing plot between Sting's character and the Baron. Oh, he's the guy in the Battlestar Galactica remake. Ah. Oh. Um, trying to assassinate each other the entire movie. Well, the entire book. And the pugs there. <laughs> Plot pug. Giant seeds going into a... What did we actually do before the internet? Like, if you wanted to know something, what did we actually do? The library. That'd be really annoying. I used to go to the library before I had the internet. It did, like, if you wanted to know something random, though. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it straight away. Yeah, but, like, like, I'd write it down and look it up. Explaining things. I can confirm she is not Morticia Adams. She has aged gracefully. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck what's that little peanut thing that's flying up right now that is a guild navigator oh right oh their mouths man did he just make a planet no he's finding a location in space time oh okay holy shit this is this is tripping me out and I'm completely sober. Oh, he's got little nipples? Oh, oh that's the tendrils, didn't mind. I love this. The painted on. Yeah, yeah. Pa I've always loved that effect. Because this is how Disney made all their um, natural. Uh, na natural. Ah, uh, no, no, no. The documentaries, they're like with bears rolling down hills and stuff. They mm -hmm. always like painted on them. But man, you literally have to have a slave army of animators for that shit. Which is funny because this is before they had a slave army of animators. Yeah. That's why you had heaps of union um, issues. Yeah. Because yeah. I like you were overworking us and he's like, gee, do you know I was homeless twice before I made this company? So eat a dick. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, but our rights, it's like, yeah, it's got nothing to do with you. But you're rich. I am now. Cause I yeah, because I worked my ass off. And then he died poor as fuck. Yeah. Well done, lol. Oh. Holy 
This is how I knew what jihad was before 2011. At least what it meant before 2011. How is this film not well received? Is it because there's so much talking? Because this is such a mindfuck. Yeah, it is a mindfuck, I've yeah. got to admit. Why is their house dog a, a fucking pug? Pugs are not intimidating and they struggle to live. Because they're adorable. No, they're not. They're hideous. They are bug eyes and they're adorable. Oh my god. Oh my god. They... No. A dog should be able to protect you when you need protection. What the fuck? They look like the fucking Egyptian army. Could have been. It's uncomfortable how much he looks like a different person. <laughs> how long has it been since they saw Duncan last? Exactly. Like, it's not explained. He went from the hugging in a corridor for them packing up and flying here, yet he was already here and looks like he's been here for ages. Yeah. And he's like, it's, why haven't we heard from you? Yeah. Oh Did God. he just say Iraqis? <laughs> it is they who control Iraqis. Whoa, whoa. To calm down there. Oh, now they look like the French Legion, but without the flaps. Yeah. <laughs> that is not what I thought he was doing. <laughs> What what in the fuck is happening? So the Emperor has declared that Harkonnens can no longer look after Arrakis and it got moved to House Atreides. But they right. left all this shit behind. And then that's a shield. What will it do? Who knows? Yo, is this where Garn's got its suits from? I don't know, but still suits are very similar to the suits they used in... Um, at least the live action one. Oh, that's Max Landers. So who are the I'm going to die in episode 7, in the beginning, for no adequately explored reason. Look how old you've become. Yes. Yeah. Fuck you, Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Wait, so they've got a, like a probe in their anus right now. Who knows, eh? You'd smell real weird. Hmm. Seen the proper way. 
That's it's bad, awesome. man. But without it, like, literally, you take that out, just be like nothing. The thing is, though, is that like, so when you adapt something and you, you replace eternal monologues, right? Yeah. Eternal monologues work on stage, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But when you replace it, you can replace it with a look. Yeah. And like the look is up to the audience, but generally the act is good enough to yeah. give you a look that you understand. The Han Conans are the crazy gingers, eh? Yeah. Good prop, bad CGI. Oh, look at that loop. <laughs> what in the fuck am I witnessing? That's amazing. There's a matte painting with like a little stick going across it. Yeah. And there's clearly a model. I actually would love to see this on Blu-ray. Like, remastered. I don't even know if they did a remaster. Oh, no, they did. That was the subtitles I was trying to apply earlier. Oh, right. Accidentally. Oh, it doesn't look as bad as the worms in Beetlejuice, does it? No, these actually look decent. Oh, okay. These are Thank models, God. not, like, weird claymation. Yeah, that, was, that, that scene... I always feel uncomfortable watching it because, like, it, the frames are too slow. Yeah. It's so strange. How did he not become a leading man with his career? He, like, he's got the face for it, man. He could have been the first Yank Bond. Yeah. The amount of radiation that it'd be putting out to do an X-ray. In, that in real time. Yeah. Yeah. There are more enemy bodies coming in for inspection of the UAA. When did they fight them? <laughs> <laughs> Am I asking the wrong questions? You're asking, he looks like Mr. Sinister. You're asking questions that would in this day and age need an answer but yeah. in that day and age didn't and they're like oh we just fought them it's like but what yeah when it's film it's show don't tell my cuz what I love about this film though is you can tell everyone worked their fucking ass off. Is off yeah You're just Patrick Stewart in your room, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, he was a theatre actor for so long. I wonder why it took him so long to join film. Money, probably. Maybe. He just didn't care. Yeah. Well, that's, a, that's a really good shot. That was the first time I've seen that scar. Mm. Oh, it's like a, um, a turtle. So, the spice is a narcotic, right? And everybody's just okay with that being the backbone of their economy. Backbone of the economy and transportation. Oh, so it's a fuel source as well. So that's what turns those freaky people into those freaky dudes that are allowed to bend space time. Right. Wait, so those people are humans? Humanoid, yeah, they were.
Has he become like a junkie? No, but he just like, just eat it later, like no reason. Uh, a few scenes in this film are no reason there, be. Yeah. Space travel, but not wireless communication. Yeah. So he's literally praying to the worm there. Are they psychic? The worms? Mm, uh, yeah. yeah. Read all the other books. <laughs> Holy actual shit. That thing is enormous. What? Why did it explode for? Because it bit it. But that's not, that's not how that works. No, no. That was cool, though. What a cool shot. I love that they, they framed it in the window, so it's their point of view. Yeah. The blue effect on the eyes is fantastic for the time. That would have been fucking hard. That they probably painted that frame by frame. Yeah, at least everything else that yeah, some of the CGI is fucking yeah. terrible. Yeah, when when something is like a brand new tech, probably lay off it for a bit, eh? Yeah, well that's why VR is doing well now. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you think about it, the first VR console was at the Virtual Boy. It was, like, 20-something years uh, ago. No, it's not. Sad, he went, they went, he went bust and then he died. What kind of freaking weaponry is that? Whoa, what the hell? It looks like a World War II rifle slash. It, it looks um, uh, like Jules Verne esque tech. Yeah. I love his mustache. God, you can close up on her eyes all day. Thank you. Just go back to those eyes. Damn. <laughs> what, what? What? Fucking. He's scanning them. Oh God. That was amazing. She's like. Okay, so you establish these people that are psychic. The one thing you don't want to be doing is in the monologues, bro. Because, yeah, like, yeah. which one's a telepathic communication, which one's in a monologue? Is he going to trip balls? So, I think the immediate effects is that it changes your perception. He's like, <laughs> this is amazing. Stay in the room for twenty minutes, like. <laughs> They're trying to assassinate him. Yeah. The 
as bright as shit, yo. Nah, too dark. Maybe it's too dark for him because he's high. Maybe. Okay, so when this came out, Dolby Digital wasn't around yet. So could you imagine trying to hear that in the cinema? Yes. You were like, fucking shit, man. So it's an automaton. No, it's like a flying... Flying... Assassination device. But it's not not remote control. Needle, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Isn't that a... That's like... Visit on the box, a... A brand new device might possibly kill someone. <laughs> Give it a whirl. She is. She's, she plays Gaia in the God of War series. When Kratos did do something, something happened. Why aren't we seeing the Harkonnen invasion? Ow! Yeah. I hope that was done in post, otherwise that poor actor, man. Yeah. It's also very, this universe is very like Battlestar Galactica, they don't like networked computers. Right. That's why they have human, like, I think there was some weird war. Because people were like, cyberdyke, it's too much to keep in your brain, eh? My hair is fantastic. Son, you weren't in a monologuing when you said that. Oh, sorry. This planet doesn't have any water and we give our troops basically like, water rations on a daily basis but you have enough to shower and look good mm-hmm. oh I imagine if the shower water was made out of heaps of people's sweat and yeah, suits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it reminds me of the um... I mean the water gets cleaned though by the suit I guess it's the um, same as the boiler room you've been to the boiler room it used to rain in there really it's sweat What was about the movie The Boiler Room? It's got my favorite remix of the Godzilla theme in it. I can't remember the movie, but I remember that theme. <laughs> He's like Kermode. He's like, man, I, t- I ate so much spice yesterday. And the trolls? Oh, Is he poisoned? Yeah. They succeeded. Like we saw that. Remember the time that was yeah, in the movie? Yeah. Married who? His 
misses. She's his concubine rather than his um. Oh wife. right. He's a dude just walking around by himself. Yeah, no guards, eh? You, you're gasping for air. Please use that precious air to talk to me. Wait, is the dude dead? No, he just got um, a very, very large aluminium dart on his chest. His pen is ridiculous! Duh, I was waiting for the outburst day. What the hell? I'm gonna ruin our chances of survival, but don't worry, you might survive. Hey, I'm just gonna betray your entire family. Um, but I'll save your daughter just and your, your son and your missus. That would have hurt like shit. Yeah, but he's drugged as right now. That's probably why he did it. Anesthesia. I don't understand. If he's keen to kill somebody, he... What? They could have won this fight. I just don't. I don't get it. I'm the pug. Oh, I'm fucking shit. <laughs> you animals that can't help us in any way, come to the battlefield. Are those 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 gun things that he had earlier? Yeah, the sound guns. Bro, screw getting killed by sound. Yeah. That'd be so painful. Here comes the Sadoka. Now, Sadoka are really interesting. Um, basically, the Emperor sends all his intergalactic prisoners to the equivalent of uh, Escape from New York, the planet. Yeah, right. And um, whoever survived get fed stimulants and like aggressive bloody shit and put in these suits and become Sadoka like the the death troopers of the emperor Patrick Stewart holding a pug a pug and a rifle yeah leading the, his troops into battle that's the strangest thing I've ever seen and the pug's in a shirt what the holy shit that guy just got thrown like halfway across a football field Okay, I know I should, like, fear for his safety, but... Oh, yuck, no, now I really do. This guy doesn't make any sense. Um, 
Google me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's his daughter too. In the mark, const. <laughs> I better have an instant. I better have an internal monologue. No, no, the character, not the actress. All right. Yeah, that's a dead. Yeah. That's yuck. Why is he making hand symbols the entire time? Yeah, get in there, Duncan. You're an important character. Oh, shit! He ain't going home for whatever they celebrate at the end of the year. Space Christmas. Why are you getting close? It was established earlier, getting close with that shield makes you vulnerable. Yet somehow a bullet killed him. Wait, I thought you said he was important. He is really important. Why is he dead? Bad writing. Bad adaptation writing. Why would you believe this guy? Absolutely nothing. Your plan was really dumb. Why would you trust a ruthless, murderous dictator? And then, like, gloat in his face as you're dying? Like, wouldn't you just be like, now I can be with my wife, die? Like, yeah. instead of be like, hey, guess what? I've got a secret plan you don't know about. Yeah. yeah. They're haircuts are so weird. Those guys are dubbed over. Yeah. That was amazing. They... So I'm guessing Lady Jessica's about to die. Damn it. No, just that whole concept of like, hey, let's stab the pilot first, day. Eh? Yeah. <sighs> that 1984 CGI action. I think this film really could have benefited from James Cameron directing, but he wasn't famous yet, eh? No. Thanks, plane. I don't know. 
you don't live anywhere near the airport. I know. That's, that, that's something I've questioned myself, actually. A public flight pass, like, available to look up? I don't know. Uh, we'll do it after the movie. It must be the reverberation of the hills. Because, well, it's overcast, so I can't see. You know, he reminds me of, and that he's probably based on this guy, um, uh, Piero Leflo. Possibly. On Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, possibly. It's crying. What does that mean, Titanic? Come closer, Baron. Jessica. Sort of weird Jedi mind trick thing there. Who knows? So, that does that mean that his son can't inherit the throne because they weren't married? This is why he was lamenting earlier. Possibly. Just the way you react when you survive an assassination attempt by your own prisoner. Have to stick to soft blue, his brother. Okay, so we're following Hero's journey. Yeah, there's a creature here. Yeah, okay, cool, awesome. <laughs> Fuck yeah, a fucking space minigun. You can just stay dressed like that for the rest of the movie if you want, uh, Lady Jessica. A God damn minigun. It's like a shocked emoji in the bottom of the moon. All right, right there. Yeah, yeah. I see it. <laughs> very uncomfortable like yeah I, that makes me feel very ill well what that that poisonous gas is intense Wow, I know where David Lynch was going with that imagery.
So yeah, it just went full like two th end of 2001 on you for a second. He's not going to get, like... <laughs> Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Mufasa appears. <laughs> he's even got the, a mane as well. Yeah. So he's like, hey. I'm also voice acted by the same person. <laughs> Man, he can never cut a break, eh? Was it that guy from Gotham? He can't be though, because he's clearly too old. But holy shit! Pretty sure they had skull caps as well. Were in their book. Yeah. How big is this soundstage? Who knows? It's fucking enormous. They probably used that one they filmed the James Bond movies in. Mm. If you walk without rhythm, you'll never learn. Weapon of choice. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll be right back. I don't know how you walk with that rhythm. No, because you, your brain naturally sinks it up. Yeah. Right? And now that we're a lot, the only way to understand this movie is by reading the books. Except when it was taken over by his son. Because that's when they just got convoluted and really, really long for no reason. This is why movies with practical effects last longer than movies with CGI. It's the other thing I found interesting about filming in this day and age is they clearly filmed this during the daytime and then applied filters so it became darker. 
The same with uh, the surfing scene from Point Break. Because it's clearly during the day, you can literally see the sun at one point. So I'm pretty sure surfing at night would be borderline really, really dangerous for... Oh, well, I guess they're high-level surfers in that movie. Yeah. I was just saying that um, this is why movies with practical effects outlast and age better than movies with C CGI. CGI. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Toy Story 1 recently? Dude, oh, right. Everybody, like, we all lost our minds when we first saw that. Now it looks it's... like, it looks worse than PlayStation 2 FMVs. Yeah. That next door neighbor's kid's face is terrifying. <laughs> His teeth, like the individual gaps. Yeah. Oh. I feel like they could have been shot better because it looked like he was standing right next to her. Yeah, did I? <laughs> Poor actor, that was not a stunt double. No. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so cool. Oh no, they're playing. Yeah, there is. I see you there. Fuck. The name of the turtle ships. No, that little thing he puts on the ground that repeatedly makes a rhythm sort of oh, right. stops worms from attacking you. But I don't know where he put his because it looked like it was like five meters away. Yeah. I always find it really uncomfortable in films where there's like a dude who's got like heaps of scenes with his mum and the actress is like smoking gorgeous. Mm. I'm like, oh, this is like awkward. <laughs> It was like, you need to see them familial, but I'm like, you know. Can't watch too many of them hentes. The animals. The animals. Oh, yep, sweet. Here is Jenny. Uh, what? Why did they react in this way? <laughs> so much is happening right now. I know. Ah, oh, finally. Well, if you're interested, bro, there's some pretty good scenes in Blade Runner. <laughs> Planes. It's annoying because like we can't close that window because it's f fucking boiling in here. Yeah. Did you just see that? Yeah. That's amazing. It shows how overworked the matte painters would have been.
So much explanation in seconds. <laughs> okay, so in the book, yeah, he has a sweet monkey knife fight. Yeah, and um, everyone carries rings, metal rings. Yeah, and that's their water, like their basically the equivalent of their zeros for their bank account. Right, and it equivalents out to I think liters of water. Um, he wins the knife fight with his knife yeah. and the knives they carry are teeth from the sandworms yeah and then he and then it's like oh you have to learn to carry them in a way they don't jingle so he hands them to the girl and that's the equivalent of saying hey carry my money yeah. which is the equivalent of will you marry me right all of that happens in the book and they're literally like she grabs his throat and she's like hi by the way i'm this person can I have a new name? Yeah, cool. You're the the that moon thing, and also the base of the pillar. <laughs> and that filter thing is for filtering people's blood into the water con uh, water part of it, because your body is seventy percent water, and then they add it to the giant. So this is literally the pool of their ancestors. <laughs> he doesn't reply he just stares at her oh I thought he was going to like psychic it to her what what is happening no fucking who knows make cows exist Is it supposed to be music? The hell was that? That was the subtitles working. I thought it was one of those, like, you're not uh, allowed to watch this. This is for only, um, what was it? Like, oh, but we're watching it off a DVD. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Like, it doesn't make so sense. By the way, look at my penis. I'm Sting. That's pretty much his whole character. Are they a thing? His nephew. Yeah, but he is super, like, into younger boys. Wait, wait, but she's got a baby inside her. Will it turn into like Super Jesus or something? Just drink some fucking wound placenta, eh? Looks like uh, Blue Carousel. Oh. Mercury Melbourne for Oh, is it killing a baby? No, worse. 
making it a Super Saiyan. Today it's one of these people. But she's premature. How do they look after her? Again, this happens over an extended amount of time rather than like. That entire scene makes no sense and is never mentioned ever again. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. There was a box with a rat and a cat duct yeah. taped together inside it. And he had <laughs> another one actually duct taped together as yeah. well. Oh shit, I don't have to watch Blade Runner anymore. What's going on here? Since that time I hallucinated about it. <laughs> yeah. It's the Baron that had Conan Yeah. Become the center of the universe. Brother. Is this the first book to have, like, the evil empire as the, like, antagonists? Uh, well, the emperor himself isn't actually evil. He's just, he's worried about losing his... Money. Not his money, it's just his place in the universe. Because of those giant brain people. Well, more along the lines of he picked the two enemies of each other to fight each other, so because one of them was growing in popularity. Right. (laughs) 
And it's really, really hard how they get a perfect triangle shape out of it. They probably cut it using itself. You know, like with diamonds. Or how they cut diamonds using diamonds. So these guns aren't in the book, right? No. So if you're going to adapt like a huge novel, why would you add stuff to it? So it's already huge. You make it even bigger. Yeah, and then cut out all the bits that like need to be explained a hell of a lot more, like the entire history of everything. Where did he get the training things from his home planet? So many questions. Where did he get the guns from? They made them. Yeah, I know. They no. Yeah. Now explain. <laughs> explain. Conquer Shia LaBeouf. Dude, I absolutely need to read the book after this because I am That's lost. Why I brought it. Oh, it's a thumbnail picture, by the way. We'll all wind up in the in here, but yeah. It's interesting about what they've done with the filters for this, say, eh? because it does actually look a hell of a lot brighter. Yeah. Because they obviously added blue at night time, and what would that be? A very, very, I'm not. Amber? Amber, yeah. Is he going to kill a worm? No, he's going to ride one. Excuse me? They're like the size of cities. Yeah. When did he learn how to do that? Is that using his mum's magic powers? No, it's just like one of those things they do. You know, you get bored out in the desert, so you just... You ride a city? Yeah. Ow. I could imagine just how much money they pumped into that one little bit. Yeah. I'm assuming those are like nostrils of some description. Well, it could be maybe vents to get rid of the heat, because I couldn't imagine those things being particularly cool. Yeah. Because I mean, they live underground, so like, do they need to breathe? Well, the reason I say that it must be nostrils of some description is because why would they be so sensitive that pulling on them can control it? Like how they use um, oh, right. ears and elephants and the inside of the mouth for horses and money for men. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's a true fact. All these fake facts. There's nothing more sen- um, sensitive as your wallet. 
A little bit of rock music in there. It's so out of place. So he's now a man. All personal guards seem to be wearing red. Mm. Whoa! How could those guys behind them ever see his hand movement? Yeah, right. Holy shit. I see, so they're taking it over. How do you hide something like this for two years? Old sister Aria matured at frightening rate. Her small body harbored tremendous powers. Paul and Chang's love grew. <laughs> this was cut two years of actually shit happening into yeah. like 30 seconds, though. I feel like this would have been better adapted as a trilogy. You know, trilogies didn't do very well back in the day. Right. Oh my god. That's Patrick Stewart with a mullet. Yeah. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like, I think the only thing that will replace it is when I hold my, my child in my arms. And I'm like, this is better than Patrick Stewart's mullet. So that's not explained either. He just, you know, what are you doing here? Oh, I've casually been hanging out with these other people who also live on the planet who aren't on either person, you know, either side. Wow. Because they black market spice traders. That really needed to be explained. Yeah. Is that a translator? Yeah. He's got some marmalade on the side of there. Yeah, it's kind of his nose too. I hate marmalade. That means I don't like him. <laughs> the dude in the background yeah, with, like, like, whistle like, with a kazoo in his mouth. <laughs> like... <laughs> Why is he still using the translator now when they, no one's in earshot? Okay, so they don't have contraception, right? So, how's she ain't not got the kids anymore? 
at the moment with, with their babies. Yeah, the same way I don't have any kids. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a space for signal? What's going on here? Is he going to turn like Super Saiyan God when he drinks this shit? Yeah. Oh. Me and the heroes! Did he already drink it? No. Oh, okay. But I don't understand why they have to tie him up. Maybe he might might turn like Super Saiyan or something. Maybe I'm worried he might kill everybody. Then why has he got the wheeling module on? So when he does need to kill everybody, <laughs> it's on time. Even though we've had like about three minutes on, on screen. No, it's been two years, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for us. Yeah. Here, drink some wind or center. Oh, I see. So only women can become these grand priests. Yeah. And there's a place that women can't go, and only men can go, and they fear it. It's a very. F- That's the way to put it. Oh, this. I can see into the face of the god and I believe you. Well, I've come to point the sinners. What the holy actual fuck the worms have turned up? Yeah, to pray. In the monologue. Could have been just out loud. Yeah, she actually could have asked that out loud. I don't know why she didn't say that. Well, they're really not in like a defensive formation or anything, just standing there like. <laughs> oh, is that her mom? his mum? Yeah. What have you done? What have you done, movie? How dare you? Yo. Hang on, wait, she's still alive? Yeah. Wouldn't their planet have been ransacked after they lost the war? No, because she's with the Emperor. Oh, I thought she would lived on... What was their planet called? Oh, no, it's Atreides? Atreides? No, that's the house name. Uh, planet that they live on that yeah. one Cadia maybe I don't remember <laughs> whoa do so you just kill the navigator guys? Who knows? Where's his blood gone? Must have psychically cleaned it. I don't know how it is. Got some psychic Kleenex lying around. He also flexed his bombs off there. Hmm. Oh, is there actually a Mufasa moment? Awoken? (laughs) 
Lord, English isn't their first language. <laughs> Little bit of Catholicism in the background, eh? Mm, just cash. Your time has come. We can't hear you. <laughs> Morpheus, what can we expect of this orgy? <laughs> there will be machines. I think they got cylinder ships. It is the most logical um, long distance ship design because then you can put majority of the stuff on the outside, and when they spin, you yeah. get natural gravity. That's a pretty cool shot. Mm. Does not explain what the fuck is going on there. Hey, dude, this movie doesn't explain what the fuck is going on. <laughs> but I'm so glad I'm watching it. This would be a hard solo watch. <laughs> it would be difficult. Some of those are going the opposite direction. I never even noticed it before. Patrick Stewart's mother. It, it, that's just what dreams are made out of. What the f <sighs> Holy shit! What scene transition was that? I think it was supposed to be his glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was amazing! Alright, so they believe in Jehovah. <laughs> Who knows? It's going to be interesting to see, like, cause it, what, how how is this set up? Are they descendants of us? Or are they just a, another race of humans that have evolved? Who knows? Right. I don't even remember what year it's supposed to be. Even if they even go into years. Oh, man. i gotta, I got to admit, though, the special effects shots are actually fantastic. Real Batman esque, there, right? <laughs> and like Adam West's Batman as yeah. well. I think it was pretty cool we got to play Batman one last time before he passed away. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We hit a, a little pile of other floating Batman fat outside. <laughs> oh, you're not talking about Jacobson? Hey, guys, it's me. Why? I also like how a ship is a giant gold pyramid. Yeah. Which... Okay, so if this is supposed to be outside of the Guild of Calamitous Intent, I mean, um, why in the hell are they there behind them? Didn't you want her? If you ever filmed a scene like this, yeah. I would unfriend you IRL. <laughs> Keep space 
What are they wearing? Oh, so, um... The reason families are important is because they have nuclear weapons. Right, okay. I see, so they're wearing hazmats. And they just used a nuclear bomb to blow a hole in the shield wall. That hasn't been explained. I know. If you didn't tell me that, I wouldn't know what just happened in this scene. Yep. That's fantastic. This is, this is just... And there's clearly an avalanche rather than sand. Mm. Is that stock footage as well? I think it is, eh? I love watching movies from the 50s and how much stock footage they yeah. use. It's crazy. You know, uh, the last thing I would have done, no matter how super strong my sister is, as a little kid, I'm not going to send them to go fucking parlay with the government. Great battle plan, eh? Let's blow a hole in a concrete wall and then ride worms into their battle arena. <laughs> well, the worms are the size of cities, so, yeah. you know. Those extras are looking around, realistically, wondering what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Because they don't know what's actually going on. The brain going to kill that kid? Doesn't she's like Super Saiyan or something? Can't she just blow his mind up? piece of military advice for uh, people there is uh, don't send infantry against <laughs> yeah. I don't even I, what would you even deem that air support it's be, they're, they're pretty much the air force right because yeah. they're that high up in the sky holy shit <laughs> whoa that person exploded into like shards of a person Reminds me of the scene from Galaxy of the Galaxy 2. Which one? The one with the, the uh, golds like. Oh, golds. right, yeah. yeah. It's like firing bloody like fireworks at the May. Eh? Yeah. I I mission it's not even like hurting these fucking things. They are the size of cities. Just the same footage over and over again, eh? Yeah, right. You gotta pat out this film that's already monumentally long. Yeah. I'm running the storyboard for this. Okay, let's have the guys here. Then we'll have a scene of the worm. Then we'll have a scene of the guns firing from the <laughs> ship. Then we'll have a scene of them screaming from the top of the worm. Then we'll see. That's the third exploring. time we've seen that exact same shot. Yeah. <laughs> So, is this a franchise, or was it just the one book? Oh, no, dude. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Frank wrote three, then he died halfway through the third one, and then his son took over and expanded into, like, 30 bloody novels. Is the son any good? No, because he just went went into, like, 
every explanation of everything. Just to explain that she had the finger yeah. of doom. I'm confused. He looked like he was realistically flying for the whole movie, and then that last scene looks it, silly. It looks fake as. Yeah. I love how it's just like a little kid. Yeah. Not only did he just get poisoned, his nipple rings got pulled out, and then he got eaten by a worm. Like, he was a bad guy, but that's <laughs> a really brutal death. That yeah, is dropped off but... the side of Nakatomi Tower. <laughs> brutal death. <laughs> Uh, so you have your brother get his revenge in three. That kid is reveling in that moment. Yeah. There's a pokey. That I will never be able to get over that mullet. <laughs> well, like when you did that photo of your brother wearing your, her, your sister's hair extensions. This <laughs> <laughs> is his name, Saddam. I think so. That's bad, incredible. Bad pronunciation. Bad pronunciation. What? What? They were just prepared with their drum solo. Yeah. Whatever, no one backs away, giving them enough space. It's yeah. just like, oh, let's just do it right here in this crowd. Can you tell me what Sting has done in this whole movie? Uh, nothing in comparison mm. to the book. Oh, I know what he did. He got paid a lot of money. Yeah, he did, eh? Awesome blue vinyl. A couple of the songs are probably in that suit. Cod piece. <laughs> yeah, his giant sting penis. I call it Sting. It's called goading, bro. Like, you're supposed to be the god emperor. Like, you know, I don't understand. He's this ultra, like, high level military leader that helped pretty much bring the empire to its knees, and he's getting his ass handed to him in a knife fight. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Wow, you can actually see the blade through his mouth. That's how do they even do that shot? Whoa, what the fuck? 
He can use his power outside the matrix. To my new empire. Is he doing that? Or was it those giant brains turning up? No, he's just standing there with his mouth open. And she's like, I have no idea what's happening in yeah. this scene. When's lunch? Oh, like Keisha and uh, Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, though, hey, she's like just walking forward like I'm in three seconds of this film. Oh, right, there'll be rain on our... Ah! Yeah. No, my silver teeth. It at least made him look pained or something. He's just standing there with, like, that look when you're, like, pooping and it's the middle of the night and you're really tired. <laughs> what?! Oh wow, these ending credits are incredible. I love how they put her right at the beginning there because thank you. In alphabetical order. Yeah. Yeah, what's the dumb? That's amazing. Okay, so that was June. Yeah, that was June. I experienced that. Yeah. What the fuck is this movie? The be- th- this is a sad the best adaptation of the book wow really yeah it's amazing well guys thanks for coming along on this journey with us um just I don't even know what to say that was that was something else um just whoa we'll catch you guys on the next Kiwi Collectors Lotus. <laughs>